athletic Big Daddy Bo. Six foot five, 240 pounds with a reach of 81 inches. And he'll be taking on, yes indeed, Muhammad Ali. Six foot three. Here comes Riddick Bowe, the big daddy, the 1988 Olympic silver medalist, a two-time heavyweight champion, and one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. Muhammad Ali. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world. Introducing Big Daddy Riddick. One of the hottest tickets around. It's standing room only for this, our main event. Todd, you know when you've got two fighters there that really believe they're going to win, really want to get it on? This is when it gets stupid. No doubt about it, this was the hottest ticket in town by a country mile. Every seat has been sold. They ring the bell, and here we go. Both men step back for just a moment. The greatest has been dazed. Muhammad Ali in trouble. I'm be legs to kick in. Look at those legs. The legs have gone. No, we don't see a knockdown. What do you do? Sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back. Step yourself. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? Does he know he's hurt him? Look at him. That back foot went incomplete. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Beautiful sneaky shot to take his legs away from him. And it appears they're out of trouble, at least for now. But that just goes to show you one clean punch changes everything. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone, I thought. There's no way to run. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. That could never happen. Halfway through the round. The greatest. Muhammad Ali is down. Do you believe it? Oh, no. Come on. Get up. Get up. He can't be over. They're on their feet, but is this the beginning of the end? He's got to waste time. Get step behind the referee. When he comes in close, tie him up. The referee's then got to paw you. Walk around the ring. You've just got to make the most of it. Because if you let him jump back on you again, he's going to get momentum and pull him down again. And that's a lot. And Bo is dazed. Oh, what a shot. He's staggered. He's staggered. Does he know? Does he know he's even gone? <laughs> Let's talk about Ali in that last round. That'll be a 10-8 round for sure with the knockdown. You've been put down, you've got to think right, survive, and then give it back the next round. Listen to me. Breathe, breathe. Come on, suck it up. Suck it up, breathe. How many rounds do we spar at the gym? How much work have you put in it? You're not tired. You're acting like you're tired. You're thinking you're tired. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. Muhammad Ali in trouble, but surely he'll find a way out. He's dazed. Where should he look? What should he do? Should he run? Should he, should he try and hold on? Just one punch away from getting the momentum back. Green Days now needs to steady the pace. Get the pace back to normal. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back. Greatest has been dazed. My So this fight will continue, but how can they get back into this bout? Hard, he's up. Uh, I'll be surprised if he makes it back to the corner. And if he does, will he get back up on the stool again? That was a shot. 
Halfway through the round, and they've got some work to do to get back into it. Stop. Remember the fight to Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points. So if there's anyone that can get out of trouble, it's Muhammad Ali. His legs have gone. He's got to get a hands up. It's survival instincts, Dan. Get him up. Didn't wait too long to get back and get engaged. He's been a tough round so far. He's been a tough, tough round. Let's talk about Ali in that last round. Is there any way back into this fight after the beating he has taken so far? They believe their fighter has it in the tank. Breathe, breathe. Come on, suck it up. Suck it up, breathe. You're tired, but you're not tired. You've done so much work at camp. Come on. Listen, you're not tired. You think you're tired, but you're not tired. You've done so much. You're acting like you're tired. You're thinking you're tired. How many rounds do we spar at the gym? How much work have you put in at the gym? All your training you've done, all your sacrifices you've done, come on. How much work have you put in the gym? All your training you've done, all your sacrifices you've done. Go out there and just box him. Don't be stupid. Get your second win back out there. Just go out there now and just box him. Don't be stupid. Round. Go out there, box him, get your breath back, and then we'll go. Go out there, box him, get your breath back, and then we'll go again. The referee calling for seconds out. Right back in the action. Take a minute. Get your breath back. Take a minute. Get your breath back. Listen, you're not tired. You think you're tired, but you're not tired. And there's the bell to start the round. <laughs> This fighter doesn't just want to win by knockout. They want to do it early so they can get out of here. Tick out of the window. These guys just want to draw. Who would have thought Ali would get rattled like this? Oh, I heard that never by saw it. Is this the beginning of the end for Muhammad Ali? He is absolutely gone. The ref. So this was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? Oh, he can smell blood. Look at that. He's good at that. You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. A knockout victory. That is Todd. Did you see the shot? That's not a knockout. That's an assassination. What a shot.